Welcome, welcome back to Panda Crew Gaming. I am PCG Travis. This week we're going to start a new game called Hand of Fate. It's a game I've never actually played before, so this should be fun. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Okay, the bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Okay, so this is kind of like a card game, but live action. So, every the cards fall where they may. Every fight, begin. I actually fight. So, I have health, food, uh, let's go to the next card. The Maiden! Fair Merith, I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day in a shabby forest, you encounter an elf maiden who stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the morals of this realm or mortals of this realm what boon would you ask me ask for a longer life ask for supplies ask for gold let's do longer life as you wish Merith mutters and waves her hand a light shines on your skin the dealer draws you one max health card health gain card nice Thank you. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Okay. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if the wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Okay. Let's go to this card next. Mr. Lyman. I was never Lyman. a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes you takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizarding face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name's Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him twenty bread from your plate, give him twenty gold, ask what he needs. Ask what he needs. Need? I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles and a warm grin that reveals his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son, and I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield card. Yes. Free shield! Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back. This must be performed with precision precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press Y to reflect projectiles. Look for a green indicator above the hero's head. Weapons with this trait allows the hero to counter their foe's attacks. Okay. So you can, I can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish then to Then before you, s you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Okay, so... I got my shield. Nice. Uh, let's go to this one. Twisted That first Canyon. moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, there lying next to like it. a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered with thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down. Okay. Choose from these options. Uh, let's go with this one. Success. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. 
You retrieved the weapon from the ancient corpse. Yes. Uh, would you like to equip the axe? Yes. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. All right, last card. Stairs. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg your of your journey. Adventure. Is well begun. This is what I was looking for. Ambush. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as far as I thought. Rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Two of dust. So now, now is when the combat happens. And it's live action combat. So I'm actually going to fight. I'm gonna fight the two of dust. Right. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. There we go. That's it. That was the two of dust. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is laying is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. Oh crap. Uh that one. Success. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The drawler deals you three game cards. Armory, I'm draw sure one equipment card. card for that. Sword, 23 attack. Uh, no. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Plus three food. Plus 15 gold. I finally have gold. Next card, please. Shop. In a shabby grove off to the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade while wandering adventures. General shops offer a range of items and healing, but the price is a, the price is a little higher than usual. Purchase the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. I feel like I should buy food. Sell the sword. There we go. Next card, please. A winding An trail. Ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Suddenly, a, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Three of dust. Weapons bristling from the trees around you, the wielder's faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Uh, sure, I'll give them all my gold. You open your money bag and present it to the thieves. That's not enough. He's holding out on us, one of them yells, right before they rush to you. The battle begins. I thought I could avoid it. Let's do this. Oh. Gotta turn around. There we 
There we go. Oh, to the face. Doing pretty good. All right, you search their bodies for loot. The drawler deals you three game cards, plus one equipment. Another shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Uh, it's the same shield I have. Plus three food. Plus thirty gold. Thank you. Last card. Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Okay. Let's do this. I got this. This is gonna be nothing. Nothing compared to that. Four of Dust and the Jack of Dust. There's Jack himself. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. Oh. Oh. I'm not doing very good. Going in with a few hits, going out with a few hits. Alright. Let's do this. Oh! Yep, got this. Stun him. Not realize there we you go. are such a fearsome adversary. I will bear that in mind. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there will be peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Shall we deal again? We shall next week. Be sure and check back to see what happens in the next round. And be sure to check out the annotations in the outro for the Twitter and Facebook pages. Check us out every Friday night for our Friday night live stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv. Just search for PCG under, uh, underscore Travis. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and until next week, onwards and upwards. Bye-bye. So apparently I am doing... Awesome.